Up until now, you've been taught that when you subtract two numbers, the big number has to go first and the small number has to go second. Well, what if I was to break that rule, be bad and switch the numbers around so that the small number goes first? Would that be allowed first of all? Well, the answer to that is yes, it is allowed, which begs the question, why have you been taught otherwise all of these years? And the reason for that, guys, is because if you were introduced to that in grade two, you'd have been so messed up. So teachers told you, just as a rule, temporary rule, until you were ready, that put the big number first. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do questions that seem impossible like this. And I want to teach it to you in a step-by-step manner. But it's important that you watch part one of my video because we're going to be coming back to these integer tiles. And you may be wondering why we have to learn with these uh, what appear to be silly tiles when we can just cut the chase, cut to the chase and just learn the techniques. The reason for that, guys, is because these teach you how to think and they bring more meaning to numbers like this. Once you've got a good grasp of it, you can come up with your own shortcuts. You can start doing things a little bit faster. But until then, we have to grasp this concept in depth. Now, we're going to introduce our chef again. And this guy here, he joined us last lesson and he was our soup chef. That's what he did. He makes soup. And we learned last time that he follows a recipe and the recipe is the equation. Whatever this equation is, he has to follow it step by step to get the answer. And he has to do it to the soup. So he had two kind of numbers. He had positive numbers and he had negative numbers. Positive numbers were the hot cubes. They heated the soup up. They made it warmer. And the negative numbers were the cold cubes, the blue ones. And they made the soup colder. So the first step he had to follow is decide where's the positive numbers and where's the negative numbers. So looking at the five here, it's kind of hard to tell because it just looks like a five. But I want to teach you how to figure this out, if it's positive or negative. Look at the number and look to the left of the number. That's the symbol of the number. But Mr. Mellum, there's nothing there. It's blank. Great. If there's nothing beside the number, it's a positive value, always. So he gets really happy. He gets five hot cubes because it's positive five. And he spills them into the soup. And he fixes them up. He tidies them up. And he's like, yes. Then he sees subtract, so he runs to the soup and he starts subtracting things out, but then he forgets to check how much he has to subtract. And then he looks at the 8 and he's like, well, what is that? Is that a positive or is that a negative 8? Remember what I told you, look to the left of the number. Okay, Mr. Chef, look to the left of the number. Looks like it may be a negative, but no, that's subtraction. Hide it. We're done. We know that's subtraction. Now look to the left. There's nothing there. What do we do if there's nothing there? It's a positive. So he runs back. He's like, okay, I got to take out eight positives. He's like, oh, got another problem. We don't have enough. Same problem. So he starts to think and he starts to think and he starts to think and he, it doesn't come to him. So he has an idea. He's going to rewrite it. So it's a little bit more clear. This is positive five. This is subtraction. And this is positive eight. Now he's like, maybe now something will come to me. What can we do now? And then he's like, hey, maybe maybe the boss won't notice. I'll, I'll just I'll just put three more in there. And now I can take away eight. I'll just go like this. I'll scoop them all out. That's eight. Ha ha, I did it. The answer is zero. The boss finds out, calls him into his office. Wasn't happy. You know why? Because he didn't follow the proper recipe. The recipe says you need five in the pot, five hot cubes, positive five. And you know what he did? He put the positive five. Sure, he did that. But then he put three more. Is that positive five? It's not. The recipe says positive five. Does he have positive five? No, he has positive eight. The boss was really mad, threatened to fire him and told him, go back to the kitchen and figure this, figure this thing out. And so he goes back to the kitchen. He's like, okay, well, I can't do that. So what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? He starts thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. And then the idea dawned upon him. You know what he did? He goes like this. He puts a hot cube and a cold cube into the pot of soup. Remember, we need to start with positive five. Okay, watch this. 
One, two, three, four, five. It appears like we've got six, but we don't. Remember last video? When you put a hot and a cold at the same time, they get busy talking like best friends. They're opposites. Opposites attract. They come together and they just talk, 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 talk. They don't do anything. They're as good as nothing. They don't affect the overall value of our soup. We still have positive five. What do we need? Positive five. What do we have? Positive five. Ignore these guys. They're socializing. So then he goes like this again. He's like, okay, I think I found a loophole. I'll put another one and another one. The boss said I need to follow the recipe. Great. The recipe says positive five. I look into my pot. I see one, two, three, four, five. And I see these guys socializing, these two socializing, and these two socializing. They're not doing any work. It's kind of like employees that are just kind of talking on the side. They're not doing their job, right? People get fired for that sort of thing. But you know what? This is good because it doesn't change my positive five. I need that. So now... I have my positive five. He goes in. He is so happy. He's got a little jump in his step. He has to subtract eight hot cubes. So he's like, okay, one, two, three, four, subtract five. I need more. I need more. I need more. I need more. Oh, you guys, uh, you're just busy talking. So I'm just going to get rid of you three positives. And you're fired. You're fired. And you're fired. What do these guys do? They get the hint, do some work. They've got no one left to talk to. They're just negative three. So we agree the answer is negative three. Look at this. What we've done is we've introduced a new term called zero pairs. And zero pairs are nothing more than a positive, a positive and a negative teamed up together to make zero. They talk, they talk, they're worth nothing. If you were their boss, you would not be happy. You'd say, they are worthless, they are nothings. I want to get rid of both of them. That's what you would say. The definition of a zero pair is a pair, two numbers, a pair of numbers whose sum is zero. So when you add negative one and positive one together, you get zero. That's key to understand. Kids and people, and even adults get confused with these zero pairs. They don't know how to use them. I want to guide you slowly through this. Adding zero pairs to the soup does not change the temperature of the soup. It doesn't. They just float around and just talk. They're worthless. Now, here's the strategy the chef followed. Adding zero pairs or add zero pairs any time you must subtract hot and cold cubes that do not exist. Throw those zero pairs in. They're going to help you. The best way to learn this stuff is to do lots of practice. Here's our first equation. The starting number is negative 5. We have no decision in that matter but to follow it. So we put negative 5 in here. Chef, so far, so good. But now you have to subtract three hot cubes, three positives. Chef goes into the pot. He doesn't see any hot cubes. He doesn't have any. So he doesn't panic. He's like, okay, I remember what I did last time. I added zero pairs. So he goes back. He puts a pair of zero. He puts another pair of zero. And he puts another pair. You can put as many as you want. It doesn't affect your result because they don't do anything, right? They're worthless. So now he's got this going for him. He's like, okay, um, it says I got to subtract positive three. But first of all, what do I need? Negative five. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five negatives. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Gone. Just negative five. Okay, great. He goes in. He's like, subtract three hot cubes. He looks, he looks, he looks. Where's the hockey? Oh, there they are. I'll split you guys up. You're just texting. You're just talking on Instagram. I'm going to fire all three of you. And look what we have. We have negative eight is our answer. It started negative five and it got colder and it became negative eight because you know what we removed? We removed these hot, fiery cubes. So when you take hot things out of the soup, the soup ain't going to get hotter. It's going to get colder, which is what happened to it. Looking at the next one, what do we have here? We have Positive four is what we need to start with. So we go like this. 
we start with our positive four. Then we subtract five cold ones, five negatives. Chef goes in, he's like, I, I, I don't have any. We, we've got none. So he goes back to the problem. He goes to his loophole solution. He puts zero pairs. So he puts another zero pair. He puts another zero. Now we need a few zero pairs here. So we go like this. And he puts another one. And another one. Like so. What do we need? Positive four. What do we have? Remember we can ignore these? Positive four. This is another way of showing positive four in a way that helps us subtract five blue ones. So we go in, we say, okay, where's the blue ones? Where are they? Here they are, and they're busy talking. I can get rid of them. No problem. And look what happens now. We have positive nine. Why did the soup warm up? Because I got rid of the cold stuff. Got rid of all the ice. Soup's going to warm up. Jumping to the next one, negative one. So we need negative one. We have to remove four hot cubes. Chef goes in. He doesn't see any hot cubes at all. So he has his master plan again. And he puts down these zero pairs. And maybe one more. So here we go, we got our zero pairs again. We put them down. We, do we have negative one? Yes, we do. But Mr. M, we have all these ones, aren't they? Don't they count for more negatives? No, they don't. Because they are socializing, we can ignore them. There's zero pairs. So we have negative one. Can we get rid of four? Yes, four hot ones. Here they are. Sneaky guys, smoke them out. Negative five is our answer. Taking a look at this next one here, we got to start with negative four, so we'll slap him in here. Let's get the chef doing some work. He's just watching. So here's negative four. We need to subtract negative five. We're not going to use this sign. We're not going to use this one because we do have stuff. We need, we need to take out five cold ones. We have four cold ones. We're almost there. We're going to use this one. We don't have enough. No problem. Chef goes back to his loophole brilliant strategy. And he puts his zero pairs down. So we have this, and we'll put that. Actually, we don't even need this one, because now look, just one zero pair, just putting one zero pair supplies us now. All together, we have five blue ones. Look, one, two, three, four. It's negative four, great. We have to take out five. Here's the fifth one. These four are gone. They're just talking. They're doing nothing. Okay, so he's fired. Oh, not him. That's the blue one. And we have positive one remaining. So it heated up, it went from negative four, we did some stuff here, and we got positive one as our answer. Let's jump to this next one. We have positive three, positive three. We need to remove positive four. Ah, oh, so close. If only we had one more, but we can't just do this. We can't just put it there and just take it out because we need positive three to begin with. We can't mess around. He do, do you want him fired? I don't want him fired. So let him follow the rules. If he doesn't have enough, you just put a zero pair down. So we'll get our zero pair. And we just need one zero pair, guys. Look, that's all we need because now we can remove four of them. One, two, three, four. Get rid of them. Our answer is negative one. And this is a very similar question. We have positive three, take away positive five. Okay, so we'll set it up in the same way. Here's positive three. Oh, but uh, take away positive five. We don't have enough. No problem. Let's add a zero pair. This is zero. It's a zero pair. Do we have enough now? Yeah, sure. Three gone. Separate them from this group. Done. Negative two. Now, guys, you don't always have to use zero pairs. You only use them when it's absolutely necessary. Let me show you this next example. Here we need negative two. So two ice cubes is what the recipe calls for. So the chef sees this and he puts two cold cubes in there. But then the recipe says remove, subtract one cold one. Chef goes in, he's like, zero pairs? Do, do I really need zero pairs in this example? 
don't need zero pairs. Why not? Why don't I need zero pairs? Because I, I, I can just go in. It says take away one out. Okay, take one out. They're done. My answer is negative one. I didn't need to use zero pairs. Using zero pairs would have been a waste of time. Look at this next one. Do we need zero pairs here? Let's think about it. So we start with positive two. Here's positive two. Take away one hot cube. Take away a positive one. Chef goes into his soup. He's like, okay, the recipe says take away one hot cube. I got it. Done. I don't need these zero pairs. Zero pairs for this one. I don't need it at all. Plus, you knew that. You know two minus one is just one. You tell me if we need zero pairs for this next one. So we have negative six. So we'll start by putting negative six down. Now we have to subtract. These are six ice cubes. Here they are. Subtract four ice cubes. Chef walks in. He's like, that's easy. Two, four. Again, we don't need these zero pairs because I have enough. Our answer is going to be negative two. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this lesson as much as I enjoyed teaching it to you. And if you found it helpful and you learned something and you, you, you feel like you, you got smarter from it, please click the like button. It helps me, but it also helps other people who are trying to find the same information. And please subscribe and share if you can. And guys, as you can see, you know, subtracting integers can be quite a messy job, but it's also a lot of fun. And I can't wait to teach you part three. And until then, you take care and I'll see you later.